Chris Como, not Chris Como, Governor Como, whatever his first name is, is gone. He resigned today. He didn't resign because he locked you down for weeks, then months, then more months, and more months. He didn't resign because he sent old people from the hospitals to the, uh, you know, to their homes, so where they infected other old people and probably caused the deaths of hundreds, if not thousands of people. He didn't resign because of that. Nobody cares about that. It goes back to nobody caring. Nobody cares. Nobody cared about that. He didn't resign because he's a megalomaniac who, who, who presented himself as some God's gift to humanity during COVID and, and ran those press conferences like, ugh, disgusting central planner. He didn't resign because he said at some point, human life is infinitely valuable. We'll do whatever it takes to save any human life. But he did resign because like most megalomaniacs, their weakness is expressed in many different ways. And in his case, as with many men in, who, who have this trait, um, he abused relationship with women. Uh, how badly it was, it's, it's really hard to tell. But, um, you know, he touched them inappropriately, said things inappropriately to them. Um, it would be good if women felt like they could tell men, don't touch me like that. So that we knew where the boundaries were, in, 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 you know, in, you know I, uh, my policy is <laughs> um, it work, just avoid it, uh, try not to touch, hug, and so on. But it would be good if w women stood up more. But, but I understand that it, it, it's difficult, right? I like girls. You like girls, Stephen. I, I, don't, I don't grab. I don't, you know, unless, unless that's, <laughs> you know, um, expected right i don't uh, uh run my finger along women's back in the in the elevator um uh, you know i don't nuzzle their ears or whatever whatever the stuff he did uh, but that's today what gets you fired you know i don't know if it should get you fired um it should get you a reprimand it should uh, you know you should be you should be asked to change your behavior but in the world in which we live in today that gets you fired and you know if that got rid of como so be it. He was a, a, a disgusting figure. He was, uh, had uh, presidential ambitions. I, I'm really happy that that is gone, that he is no longer a part of our political world. That is, it's good to get rid of him. Um, yes, good riddance, Chris Como. Chris Como? It's not Chris Como. What's the first name of Andrew Como? I mean, it would be nice if Chris Como left with him. If, if you've ever watched Chris Como, ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't watch television news because of people like Chris Como. They drive me ugh, nuts. They're so dishonest. Andrew Como. Uh, good riddance, Andrew Como. And uh, I mean, I've got a whole list of politicians I'd like to resign. There's also, you know, there's also the, uh, the uh, you know, they're trying to get rid of Newsom in California. That's going to be interesting to watch, see how that develops and evolves. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, 
the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.